Hey guys, hope you've been doing well and hope you've been keeping safe. In this video, we are looking at a Geekbench comparison for Mac OS 26, which is the latest Teho and the previous Sequoia. So first, uh, I am down I downloaded the Geekbench. I'm running the CPU test right now for Sequoia. And uh, honestly speaking, I mean, uh, while the video goes on, I just wanted to share my thoughts about my first impressions of OS 26 Teho. It is fantastic. So what I got is the public beta 3 and uh, that's the latest public beta 3 and next month we'll anyway get the uh, latest OS. So it is fantastic. I love the way it looks, the way it operates. So this is the Geekbench CPU for the uh, older OS, okay, Sequoia. Now I'm running the test for the GPU and uh, it, it even feels faster, the new OS, uh, not just uh, looking good. And this is the GPU score, okay, for Sequoia. And now I will go ahead, uh, I'll download. Uh, you just have to head to Apple Beta and sign up. If you are uh, running a later version of the OS, you'll just have to enable beta updates within the device, uh, within general settings and everything, and that should do it. Um, but if you are running older uh, OSS, you may have to install a profile and then uh, update it, okay? So it's around, uh, uh, yeah, 7, 8 GB and uh, download it. It took around uh, 20 minutes or so to install it and there we have it, Mac OS 26 and uh, the initial impressions, like I mentioned, the OS feels very smooth, very fantastic. I did not feel it slowing down even for a single bit. And uh, I enabled all these analytics. I, I, I was okay with all of it. There is a new feature of summarizing the notifications as well, not just um, uh, showing them to you. It's in beta stage, but I just went ahead and select all, selected all of them. Okay. And uh, then you also get uh, a set of new wallpapers, which I obviously, uh, uh, I continue to use my old ones. And uh, you can customize the way your icons look. You can do it the older way or you can have the, I mean, older way, meaning dark mode, light mode, right? So that is still there. And you can also have the liquid glass way right now, which is increased transparency. So that setting is in your hands. So now I'm running the, I gave it a little bit of time and now I'm running the CPU Geekbench test on Teho. And uh, there we have the results. Yeah, uh, it looks like they have improved slightly. We'll uh, look at a comparison screenshot towards the end of the video. And now I'll go ahead and run the GPU benchmark. And uh, if you ask me, and I am running this on a MacBook Air, 8 GB RAM, 7 core GPU, which is from 2020. So I got this in 2020 December. It's been uh, almost four and a half, a little over four and a half years now. Okay. And... Uh, uh, yeah, it's on Apple Silicon and yes, it's running fantastic. So if you are having any questions, don't have them, go ahead and up, uh, update it. So this is the comparison of the CPU and the GPU. Hope you found this informative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.